car and I made a great dame trailer at 10,030 Wallaceville Road. And they have a mess out here. This is the entry of the driveway here in front it is terrible. And uh, it's terrible everywhere. But anyway, uh, looks like this whole area in front here needs to be saw cut out and redone along here the driveway entrance on this thing is uh it's 30 feet i could have guessed at that and this little lip here it's got to come out as a okay we're coming up here to uh call it 30 by 20. we got a pothole over here it's like about a five by five then you got this freaking driveway that runs all the way down through here. It's a freaking mess. You see those potholes that are scattered all out in there. And back that direction, I'll have to go back over there and put all that together. Okay, so here we are. Now, she wants to get the majority of the bad stuff. And to me, to me it's uh, all kind of nasty. But uh, anyway, let's see here. Around the drain over here, probably is going to have to have some stuff done. I think that needs to be whacked out of there, and probably at least a uh, good 15 by 15 around the drain. This stuff over here, you know, I'm gonna call that 30 feet across there. Uh, 30 feet and let's go roll it down this way that we'll call it maybe we're going to call it 40 feet because all that needs to come out here okay 30 by 60 on that and that takes care of the majority of this crap right in here. Then we're going to have these things that are up here by the corner of the building in, in, this, in this area. So let's see what row it up here to the back of that black truck is. The thing about these is that, you know, you try to come in here and get a little bit of it, and that, it's never going to work. Okay, so that takes care of it to this point right in here. That's 44 feet. And we're going to come across the driveway. Yep. And that'd be 32 feet. All right, now that takes care of the stuff that's problematic up to about there. So we'll get over here by the doors. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, see, there you come up and you hit these areas, and you say, what do you do, you know? You got to... Place there that's in between here, between the driveway. It's one, two, three, it's four, so that's about 15 by, by 10, area 15 by 10. That's all sandy and stuff over there. In front of this door here, I don't know, do we do that or not? Probably. It's 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10 by 36. And uh, now see these places out here? They're just bumped up and down and you know, what are you, you going to do with that? Clean it off and call it a day. 
He got a pothole right over there. That's gravel. Probably just gonna take care of a couple of loads of gravel for that. Walk around behind the building here. We'll have a five minute stroll. Yeah, we've been back here plenty of times. Pothole there. 10 by 10. Twenty by twenty, five by five, five by five. Take these notes down, Mike. Got a lake going on back over on the other side over here. Get Smith stabilized crushed concrete back here. Fifteen by fifteen. Ten by ten. And these waterlogged places over here that who knows what's been going on with them. We're still holding water in there. It's where the trucks turn and cut the wheels back and forth. Twenty by twenty area, kind of come out and fill it up with with uh, cement stabilized concrete and it's got asphalt over the top of it. I don't know if it's worth putting it back on there, but I guess so. we'll call it asphalt topping too. And then another one over here, that's the only asphalt we have so far back here. And this one over here. And that one's a 15 by 25. Dig it out, put the good stuff back, tap it off of that. Pause this video now. No point in recording my walk back around the building, and we're going to go over here to the employee parking lot and take a look at that. Grassy area over in here that they want to do is uh, this area here that's up by the building is uh, 40 by 45, and the uh, one over here is going to be 40 by, I'm going to measure it off. But it's going to be a little bit bigger. It runs off at an angle, but. I guess we'll have to allow for that. Yeah. I'm sorry for the juggling around there, juggling around. All right. I'm gonna leave a little bit of green spot out there just to designate and not run over it. Mm. So we'll call that a 40 by 50 area. Now, in front of the building, we're gonna have an asphalt repair right here. That's, uh, I'm gonna call that about a 15 by one, two, three, four, five, six, 15 by 20. This is all jumbled up and crap, I don't know worth really digging this out to fix it. I don't know, around the drain there, I think. We'll go in there and pop it out and replace it around that drain. And we really ought to do that with concrete. The drain areas ought to have an apron of concrete around them. So we're gonna go a 10 by 10 area around that with concrete. There's two of them, one on the other side also. I'm gonna bid it that way because I know that's the best way to do it. There's a hot spot. We're like a, your dog when the dog gets a hot spot on it. Here's another drain over here. The same situation needs to happen there. Put a 10 by 10, pour concrete around it, fix it good and where it's nice. Now back here in the back, she was got some concerns with that. It's a freaking mess, okay? So I'm gonna measure the rock across the back. We're gonna dig these stumps out, dig it down, put some base in there. And asphalt over that. We'll call it over that. Here we go. 
I'll make myself seasick when I look back at this video. Look at that. What a mess. Well, I don't know if that's 94. It's more like 64. I think I had a 30 foot section down there and measure all go. So, we got this up to the building um, at about 15 feet and then 60 feet across. And then down the edge of this, uh, the building, it's sunk down and messed up. So from this point down this way, you can see where it's kind of undermining the sidewalk. So we'll cut out an area down through here. Cut it out away from there. I don't know about it. Probably cut it back about five feet. Slope it away. Give it a nice slope from, from the top away from the building. And then down on the end. It's 75 feet. It's five by 75. Ellis worked over here a lot. And Ellis is no longer with us. Well, see, looking at that right there now, that's going to have to be done. So I'm going to have to rethink that, that 75 and call it something else. Down here, rolls up and rolls on the end. 100 feet. Okay, 5 by 100. We're going to pop it out along that edge. And then we're going to you know, redo it. All right, that concludes my little visit over here. I'll put together a proposal for them. Uh, we will, and uh, see what happens. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's one of those things where you know the measurements I took are guesstimated at. They're all speculative. You know, each person could come here and look at it a whole different way, or and the numbers are going to fluctuate. So. Uh, and they, the owners or the uh, management could come out here and decide they want a whole other different thing. So what we're going to do is going to provide a, an estimate of, uh, of our totals and what we think it's going to be as far as area is concerned. Present that to you. And uh, if the area is different, uh, if it's more, well, then obviously it's more money. If it's less, well, you know, it's the same amount of money. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we, we, we would adjust it. All right. Thank you.